이런 어려운 여건에도 불구하고 작가 여러분이 수고에 깊이 감사드리고 건승을 기원합니다. Thank you. Hello everyone. Thank you for attending the opening party of uh, Ethan Media Conference 2020. It's a great pleasure to uh, uh, have our featured artists here from all around the world. And thank you everyone for being here physically or uh, virtually with us today. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Chang Yun, an AI scientist and artist. I'm working at ATRI, top IT research institute in Korea. In Sokha NMAC two, uh, 2020, I exhibit and present emotional condition from the perspective of AI and brain science. Let's look at the definition of art. The definition of art is not just the beauty or ugly. There are so many properties related to aesthetics. We see the world and think about it through our brain, especially by the brain cells, neuron, and its connection, synapse. This is the starting point of the fusion between art and science. Based on the facts and theories of brain science and artificial intelligence, I am using it as a concept and apply them to the creation of artworks. I'm going to tell you one of those theories. The starting point is eye. Let's look at the eye. The light is focused through the lens into the fovea. If we look at the fovea more closely, there are three different cells that looks each red, green, and blue color. Actually, the ratio of those is different. Red cells, 60%, green cells, 40%, and blue cells, less than 1%. So even small portion of red, the stimulus is huge. Using those scientific facts as a concept, this artwork represent day's emotion, feeling daylight with full ignition of eyes red cells. And night, only dim blue you can see. This artwork represents calm and tranquility emotion. When you look at the sky for some time, the stars in the sky start to shine fantastically. This artwork represents the glowing light creeping to me. The scientific concept make artwork named primitive, primitive sensibility. The media art is created by the concept that memory in brain has a primitive and unity shape. Famous artists such as Monet, Cezanne, and Kandinsky created their own worlds and the resulting logic is consistent with the interpretation of the brain system of modern science. In Sokka NMAC 2020, I will discuss the possibility of artificial intelligence art convergence as a tool for creating new art. Thank you. I'm going to invite Nicholas Kerstlis and Nathan Matheson. Hello, Nate. I'm here. Okay, cool. Uh, hi, everybody. Um, we kind of thought that this was an opening and we were just going to socialize in smaller groups and not do a presentation yet. Uh, we were prepared for tomorrow. Um, is there anything you guys would like us to to talk about just generally about our work? Sure. You, I just want to also explain, I'm in Los Angeles and Nathan is in Chicago. 
So we're in the AM hours, 1 to 3 AM. So a little foggy headed, maybe. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I'm think with you. Justin, yeah, Justin's also in, in the time zone. Yes. Uh, it looks like I'm pretending I'm in a, in a Stanley Kubrick movie, and you guys are in a Farnsworth house. Because it looks like you're in a Mies van der Rohe glass house with that scene in the background, the trees. Um, we got interested only in the last, say, two years in doing work with the computer. Uh, this probably happened because of arguments we had while putting together a website for my work, my physical work. Uh, Nathan has a great website for Obstructures, the, the company, the, the design company that he makes things for. And that we got together, believe it or not, after 20 years of not talking, not seeing each other because we just went to uh, Yale Summer School. It's called Yale Norfolk. Uh, and you go there when you're a junior and an undergrad. And then he went to grad school in, in Chicago. I went to grad school in Los Angeles we lost touch with each other. And then through the internet, we met back up and I sent him a message on LinkedIn and got a response in 20 minutes, which was surprising because neither one of us really used LinkedIn at <laughs> all. <laughs> so uh, that's kind of like how this project started. Um, I'm, I would say, especially when I met, re, you know, met Nate again, uh, would say, not computer literate, but not savvy at all. Not interested in in the computer. I'm interested in the, the history of it. I'm interested in some of the stuff that uh, was just presented about, you know, how it works. How I'm interested in art from the retinal perspective in general, um, art historically going back to um, anybody from Monet to Cezanne that were previously mentioned. Um, I think in our proposal, we spoke about Mondrian and his use of the grid. So Nate, have anything to contribute? Oh, very little, my friend. Um, <clears throat> I guess uh, I would just say that I am almost the opposite of Nick uh, in that uh, when I got done with art school, I just pretty much forsook the arts uh, and dove into computers because I needed to make money. So when we hooked up, you know, after 20 years, uh, it was sort of reinvigorating for me to actually be thinking about art again, you know, instead of just purely functional uh, objects uh, and, and, you know, finding a way to, <clears throat> to write code, you know, to actually make something uh, just purely visual, you know, instead of, um, instead of building something that's, that was for a purpose. So uh, it's been, you know, unexpected and unexpected uh, collaboration after all these years, but um, but very uh, amazing and rewarding. So, thanks for having us. Thank you. You're welcome. Second class person is signed up. I didn't expect you know I need to like talk about something. So hi. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't expect I have to speak in English, so <laughs> I didn't prepare anything. I thought, you know, it's like an opening party, so like, uh, <laughs> generally, I thought I just watching the, you know, this, like, a <laughs> video, so. Oh. Oh, well, welcome. Hey. Where, where are you calling from? Or where are you Zooming? Uh, I'm in Korea. In Korea, okay. Yeah. Close to Seoul or far away? Yeah, I'm living so. Oh, okay. You're just social distancing. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Kind of. Yeah. So we still have like a 50, like, uh, you know, 
people got the coronavirus. Sure, yeah, yeah, this is definitely true here. We're starting to call it, uh, I think, physical distancing instead of social distancing now. Uh, the change is something, uh, something else, like it's, I don't know how to explain, but it's kind of, you know, social distancing, uh, distancing but <coughs> it's not uh, really strict. It's not what? Not that strict. Oh, really strict. Okay, okay. All right. Good. So, <laughs> what should I talk about? Talking um, about what work? Or? <laughs> yeah, what, what work are you going to present later? Oh, uh, okay. Like, oh. Uh, you know, I'm not, I'm not a, like a, this, I'm not a, like a, what should I say? Uh, actually, I'm a painter. So I'm not like, I'm not using the, either like a computer or like a, so I'm not, I'm not using any, any kind of, you know, computer art or like a, a new media art. But, you know, my subject is, subject matter is like a religion and uh, uh, machine civilization. So it's kind of, it's better to show you something, but uh, somehow, I guess, you know, my presentation is gonna be on Saturday, right? So, okay. ooh, I didn't pre- Are you in the morning, do you know? Huh? Are you in the morning? No, um, afternoon, like a two, in Korean time, 2.30. Okay. Again. Yeah. I look forward to it. <laughs> Thank you. I just, I really, I'm sorry. It's kind of, it's unexpected to do something in here. So, well, I, I think you know one good thing about us being artists is that we can adapt. We yes. can we can improvise. Yeah. It is curious. Sorry, on the other line. <laughs> it looks like we don't have any of the East Coast and people. Hi, Shifa, are you ready? Hi, are you ready? Hi. Hi, everyone. Uh, Can you hear me? Yes. 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 Good morning from Israel. Good morning. It is very nice to see you all, and it's very nice to see that everything came, came and happened to be real after all, with all this um, COVID-19. Now it's the awkward silence. <laughs> <laughs> well, could, could you tell us a little bit about your work and where you're coming yeah. from? Yeah, actually, I'll, I'll talk about it tomorrow, of course, but what I can tell you in advance, uh, I was um, doing my MDES uh, studies in Ebitzelel, which is um, uh, a school of art and design in Jerusalem. And uh, it's about uh, two years of studies. And during my studies, I, I found out that I'm um, um, uh, researching uh, all my projects that I did during the years were around the same thing, researching quietness, silence. Why are we afraid of um, being silent? What about awkward silence? Um, are we afraid of uh, being with ourselves? Can we, uh, what, what is the role of the cell phones in this uh, um, action that uh, made us 24-7 uh, occupied by monitors. And I made a lot of art projects, but all of them, when I'm looking back, all of them were talking about actually the same thing. Why are we afraid, or some of us are not, of being just with ourselves? And then the, um, the big project, my main project, which is uh, the one that I um, rebuilt it in, in Kika yesterday. You rebuilt it for me. <laughs> it's, it's not exactly the same as uh, was uh, in my studies. It's um, um, made specially for the, for the Kika and 
it was translated. I uh, interviewed many people around me about their very personal uh, feelings and thoughts about their internal, I called it internal dui, which is the internal pose. And I asked many people from different backgrounds, from various backgrounds, um, how, uh, how do they feel or what do they do with their internal dui? And um, in, uh, in the other time, I, I, I um, collected a very big variety of uh, videos that I took around me wherever I saw something that is, uh, that is good and nice to gaze at and that can let our thoughts just flow. And I collected the videos and I collected the audios and then I made this uh, audio video installation, which um, now is presented in Kika. And uh, the Israeli embassy in Seoul helped me translate it to Korean. So you can just go and visit and, and take, a, take a pose from your life and sit there and think about your own personal internal dori while uh, looking at one of the videos. And, and maybe my, my uh, wishful thinking is that uh, everyone would be, would have better, better time with himself after visiting my um, installation. That's my story. So if the point is uh, about uh, technology, this is may maybe that is the other side of technology. What, what did the technology do to us? Thank you. Welcome. Just to be clear, I just wanted to ask, is, is your work currently physically installed at CICA? Yeah, yeah. of course. Okay. This week? Yeah, today, right now. Okay, great. <laughs> Very right. moment. And um, I'm, I'm sorry that you can't, you're in Los Angeles now? Yes. So uh, maybe you can invite me to uh, install it in Los Angeles. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> if only. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And now I'd like to invite Sora Ru. Hi, everyone. Well, thank you for making this great event. My name is Sarahu, and so a little bit about myself is that I am from Korea, but I went to schools in New York. So I make, I live and I work in Brooklyn, but I'm currently staying in, living in Korea with my family. Uh, so I'll be talking about my work. Briefly, so my series called Pile of Archives. So my work process starts from realizing or exper experimenting, scrolling down my phone and realizing that how many photos that I take in a day. Every every moment that I see something or where I wherever I go, any places or experiencing something beautiful moment. And I realized in myself that I take my phone out and take photos even before I experience myself. And that gives me a moment to think about, is it that photos for myself or is it to share? And I take so many photos, surprisingly, even zoom in, zoom out, or close up, close, well, zoom in, zoom out, um, like landscape or portrait. That gives me to think about, do I try to take up beautiful photos or perfect photos of my memory? And from that process, um, I try to think about what photos, photo means now compared to the, uh, back in the history. Photo used to mean, photo, a photograph used to mean that it's delivering the facts and uh, sharing the facts 
for information. But now anyone can take can take photos easily, daily, everyone. And that means that we can take photos and we can manipulate it easily and we can share it even easier, easily. And by just by clicking. And that very easy process keeps to that really little work process keeps people to think less about photos. And photos changes as an image or instant that people think not that importantly. And uh, that gives me the moment why what photos means now compared to history. And you can start my uh, work. So my work starts digging from my photos that I found my from my um, travel that I try to take beautiful photos and I always imagine what if there is no one so that I can take beautiful photos. And that also gives me to think about should I make great photos to make a beautiful memory just for myself. And that's because I want to share my beautiful memory with people. And and even if, even on this book, this one, if, if you can see closely that we, with that beautiful landscape, that person is trying to take a selfie with a dog stick, and everywhere we try to when we see something or when we experience something, then we try to prove what we see, what we experience. And is that really for yourselves or is it for to share and to? Do we really live our own lives through the photos or to share? That's a life uh, process starts. And as you can see, my photos, on my every photo that has a uh, people's erase removed, that gives me the, uh, the idea of how we are, how I think that people are losing humanity by use, uh, when they are using photos. Um, even because it has such a little work to making, editing, and sharing of photos or image that people think less. And that I think on that little process, people are using, people are losing their uh, either identity or community and on that you know, remote people you don't see any information that's why I use all people's figures and so that you don't see any you don't see their nationality or genders or their age and uh, well, this is ongoing process, and I it's my uh, it's my uh, it's my study that I'm trying to uh, figure out that what it really means to me. Um, well, it's said that you guys can really get you guys can come, but I use the material kind of uh, uh, it's called. I don't know what to call it in English, but I use the uh, one-time paper so that you can just take it out. It's just one time using paper and using to show that how photos can be just distributed. Uh, the image can be just distributed uh, after one time works.
Okay. I would like to introduce the uh, Justin Minkan, who will be moderating the session. Hi, everyone. Yeah, um, here uh, in 2017, so yeah, it should be okay. <laughs> So can everyone hear okay? Yes. Cool. Um, so it's, it's funny to be here again. Um, the, the first conference uh, that I attended at uh, CICA uh, was my first time in Seoul and it was, uh, it was intense. Uh, and I spent a lot of time feeling kind of lost. Uh, but uh, I feel like this year being online, it's a, it's a different kind of being lost. And, um, you know, in a, in a way, trying to do this conference online while we're so distant from each other is going to be a challenge. Uh, I guess it's my job uh, to uh, really try to help facilitate uh, dialogue between all of us. Um, a little bit about me, I teach at a small liberal arts college in Walla Walla, Washington uh, called Whitman College. I teach new media and um, I guess my work recently revolves around uh, the computer programming language processing, noise music, and Instagram. And um, I guess one of the things that I think about more than anything when I'm making art is what does it mean that we spend so much time staring at glowing rectangles, whether it's on our phone or on our computer, or it could have been on TV. And, um, and now our presence is mediated in these self same yeah. glowing rectangles. And, um, this will be a kind of wild experiment. I'm looking forward to uh, seeing everyone uh, again starting tomorrow. And um, thank you all for your patience and your attention. Thanks. Thank you. Okay. Hello. Me and maybe talk a little bit about, about your work. I'm sorry, I couldn't read. I couldn't hear. Oh, could you introduce yourself and say a little uh, bit about your work? Okay. I'm Gira Kodomo. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. So. Uh, I don't prepare what to talk, so anyway, I'm born in Japan, so it was very difficult to prepare all online for exhibition, so, but I, this is a time to, important time to, for media art, I think, so enjoy, that's it, <laughs> thank you. <laughs> Now
Galveston, oh Galveston, I am so afraid of dying. Thank you, thank you very much for joining us today and we look forward to seeing you again tomorrow. Session. Yes. And next, uh Hangir Tang, the sound artist and uh, our team member, uh, he will do some sound performance. Thank you.